Hello, my name is Jay. Today, I'm going to read you the book name, The Three Billy Goats Gruff, by Stephen Tucker and Nick Sherrod. This is the tale of three Billy Goats Gruff, one gray, one brown, and one white. They lived in a field, and they loved to eat grass from daybreak till last thing at night. They hate they had grass for their breakfast and grass for their lunch. And for tea, they had more of the stuff. Soon, there wasn't a lot of grass left in the field. Let's move on, said a belly goat gruff. Okay. Now over the stream, they could see a fine meadow, as much as green as could, see, as could be. It's time, said the youngest, to cross the red bridge. And his brothers just had to agree that brave belly goats, for each of them knew what under the bridge is a shock. Lived a horrible troll who kept watch all the time, and goat was his favorite snack. It's the you know who. While the two older belly goats packed up the tent, the youngest said, Cheerio. He began to trot over the rickety bro bridge as just as fast as his two feet would go. But he hadn't got further than halfway across when a voice sh shout out, Not so fast. And onto the bridge left a horrible troll, and he grunted, You've not you're not getting past. This is... The troll licked his lip, and he said with a grin, I fancy go pie for my tea. The little goat trem trembled, but quickly replied, Oh, please, Mr. Troll. Don't eat me. My brother is bigger. He's coming this way. He tastes better than me, I am sure. Just that case, the troll said. I shall eat you, let you pass. Just don't come around here anymore. He's thinking about good pie. He reached the far bank and the troll disappeared. To the middle-sized goat said, here goes. He stepped into a bridge and took a deep breath, and he started to cross on tiptoe. But the troll had good ears, so he jumped the bridge break, and he jumped up and stood in the way. He chuckled with glee when he saw the goat there and roared, Boy, am I hungry today. Teddy bear. Oh, please let me cross at a middle side goat. But the troll only snapped. What's your hurry? With some herbs and some spice and some up red rice, you will make a delicious goat curry. My brother is much bigger. He'll, he'll be along soon, said the goat, and he'd make a huge meal. So spare me and think of a way to cook him. And the greedy troll said, It's a deal. Oh, it's goat curry. While the troll went to look in this curry book, the goat quickly went on his way. He ran to his brother who stood in the meadow and both of them shouted, hooray. The big belly goat had been patiently waiting. Now his turn had finally come. He's children onto the bridge, but the horrible troll popped back up with a cry of yum yum. Sorry, I'm so sorry. The troll fixed his eyes on a huge shaggy goat, his mouth watery, he said, what a prize. I'm glad that I waited. Because very soon now I'll be eating goat burgers and fries. The goat stared right back at the horrible troll. You're a rude, nasty fellow, he said. 
and I really don't want to be dished for the day. Let me teach you a lesson instead. Ooh. <laughs> it's that gold burger. He lowered his bones and he charged straight ahead and ran into the troll with a crash. The troll let it, lost his balance, fell right out the bridge and plunged into the stream with a splash. As a horrible troll bobbed about, about in the water, he spluttered, I know what I've beaten. The belly goats laughed and began chuckling into the sweetest grass they've ever eaten. The end. Thank you for watching. Bye.